Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. This video, I'll be showing you how to mask uh, PII data in the data lake using AWS Glue. So the goal of the video is to essentially mask all the details such as name, city, address, phone number, and all the other PII data using a glue job. So over here, as you can see on my S3, I essentially have a uh, lot of files here, right? As you can see, I have files. And these are files where I have some PII data. And don't worry, these are fake data. Essentially, I have uploaded using a Python library called Faker. So to, to, to kind of show you uh, the end goal of the project is, you know, we want to mask all this PI data using Glue in the data lake, right? And when we essentially query this data using SQL or, I mean, Athena, all the information will appear as a didacted, essentially star, 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 because that's a PI data, right? So how to do that? I'm going to be walking you, uh, walking you how to do that in this video. So. I want to dump my output in this folder called output, right? So if you come here, I have a folder called sawmill test data, and which is where all my data resides. So uh, what we need to do is we need to go to Glue. Uh, Glue is a service uh, that we're going to use to you know, uh, redact all the text, essentially, uh, PII text, right? Um, then in the Glue section, head over to Glue Studio. Uh, Studio, essentially, is an interactive way to, you know, uh, right, glue jobs, right? So now head over to jobs and we shall click on create. Uh, remove this one and remove this one as well. Now over here, uh, we'll select S3 as the location. Now from the drop down, we are gonna select uh, the source. So we'll select data. So I wanna iterate over everything inside that and then I wanna add a transform block. And I would say PI here. Over this, um, I can select, um, you know, scan every row. Then you can select categories, for example, HIPA, HIP, AA, Universal, United States. These are categories, right? But if you want specific patterns such as credit card, phone number, email address, if you know what, what all details you have, you can select from the categories. If not, uh, uh, if you know what you want to mask, you can select a pattern. If not, you can select a category. Uh, in this case, I know what I want to mask. I just want to mask a person's name. I want to mask, um, I also want to mask phone, so US phone, and then I want to mask email address. Okay, so these are the things that I want to mask. I'll click on redacted text, and then I want to add star, 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 wherever you find this information. After this, I want to add a target element. My target is going to be again S3. Output would be JSON, and then I'm going to dump this inside a folder called output. So. That's that. Now we'll go to the node property and connect to the node. Now, as you can see, our script is ready. Uh, if you click on the script, this is a script that is proposed by Glue, and we can now actually run this script, right? So I'm just going to fill out some details here, and then I'm going to save my job. I'll select my IAM role. Uh, all the other things looks fine. so. We don't have to worry about that, right? Uh, retry, I'll, I'll change it to one. And uh, this is going to use the you know default path for the S3. So everything looks good. Now I'm going to click on Save button. And then I'm all right, as you can see, my job is saved. And now I'm going to click on the Run button, OK? So this should essentially run my Glue job. And this is going to take the data from my data lake that is in the data folder. It's going to mask all the person, name, and address. And then it's going to store in the output folder that I have defined. OK, so my job is running currently. And I would love to show you. So if I go to job legacy, uh, just need to refresh here. And as you can see, uh, currently my job is running. OK, so I'm going to wait until the job is complete. Then I'm going to create a glue crawler. And I'm going to show you that when I query this data using Athena, everything would be redacted. OK, so let's wait for the job to come. All right, guys, I am back here. And my glue job has succeeded. And now let's try to go to the output folder and see whether we see some files. So, OK, I'm on my bucket going to sawmill test. And uh, sorry, I had to go to the output folder. So here I'm in the output folder. And as you can see, my job has succeeded. And I see uh, some files here, right? I'm going to open up any one of the files to show you. So I'm going to say show in Explorer. And this is a file, right? So when I click on, uh, as you can see, right, name and name is uh, redacted, right? Because I selected name uh, from that, right? Uh, and as you can see, some of the other information is also redacted. So based on what you want to redact, you can select or you can select a category, right? Now, essentially, I'll show you uh, by doing a simple glue crawler here, right? So what I'm going to do is now I'll head over to my glue. Uh, 
I'll create a database for now. Oh, I have a test DB, so that's fine. So now uh, head over to crawler, add a crawler. We'll say test. I just want to show you right how, how it looks like, right? So crawl over all the folders and then I'm going to select S3. I'm going to expand this and I'm going to select the output folder. Click on next. Then all the way, I'm going to select my role, right? I'm going to click on next, run on demand. And in the configuration, I'm going to select on add new columns only. This is important. I will click on next. Wait, did I miss anything? Yep, the database name. Click next and click on finish. At this point, my crawler is ready. I simply need to run my crawler, right? Which I already did right now. And uh, within a couple of seconds, my crawler run should be complete. And then I shall be heading over to my Athena and show you the redacted um, data, okay? So heading over to my Athena. At this point, still the crawler is working, which means it's gonna crawl over the store and populate my metadata or it's gonna identify the schema, right? Uh, once it does, I'll show you on the Athena. As you can see, my crawler is complete and one table has been added, right? Now let's head over to the Athena and I'm gonna go to my test DB and here I have my folder or essentially table. And here you go, all the data and information is now redacted such as name, uh, city is redacted because I selected purposely from that, right? So it's essentially that easy, right? Uh, to essentially redact data from uh, data lake. Uh, guys, it's really that easy to essentially redact uh, data from your data lakes using AWS glue job. Alternatively, there is one more way to do that, that is using AWS Comprehend. On Comprehend, if you go, uh, you can also do the same thing that I'm about to show you. Again, I'm not gonna run because it's a uh, paid, I'll, I'll be charged, right? Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just show you the steps as well, right? So as you can see, it works great, right? It redacts the data, and if you don't wanna use glue, uh, you can opt for a service called Amazon Comprehend. Uh, they also have a feature over here which says, uh, where was that, analysis of a job. You can click on create job. Uh, you can say whatever name you want. And then here in the analysis type, there's an option called PII. Select your um, input path, select your output path, and select your category. And then what you wanna do with the redacted one, for example, mask that. Click on create job, and this would also work the same way. So had, heading over back to Athena. So over here. But really, you know, it is that easy, right? Either you can opt for glue, right? Uh, so what, I'm sh what, I, what, what I wanna show you is you can use glue to essentially mask the data or you can use AWS Comprehend to mask data. If you're just looking to identify PI data, then you can use a service called AWS Macy. I have some tutorials on my YouTube, please check it out. So that will essentially enable you to identify the PII data. And then if you wanna build dashboard, for example, what entities have been detected in PII, you could essentially build dashboard using QuickSight. There's a lot more, right? I would stop the video here and hopefully you got a very nice idea about how to redact essentially text in the data lake uh, using AWS Glue. If you really like the videos uh, and if you really like all these um, walkthroughs, kindly give a like to this video and share this video if possible. With, uh, uh, with that being said, if you have any more questions, list your question in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer it. Remember, PII data is, one of, is very important and uh, data privacy is also important, right? When you store data, sensitive data like email, phone, it's crucial that you encrypt the data because during data breaches, that can cause trouble. Server-side encryption, client-side encryption, you essentially want to detect essentially the PI data. So these are some of the steps that you always want to think about uh, when essentially working with data uh, or you're putting data to the data lake that is S3, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the upcoming next 